Assalamu alaikum. Today we will solve exercise 74a from Mathematics 1. First question says remove brackets and simplify where possible. So how can we solve this one? Number one, a minus b plus c. So we have to remove the brackets right now. Look, a minus into b, that will be minus b minus into plus minus into plus that will be minus c. before starting this one we can understand these four rules plus into plus if we multiply the two positive number the answer will be a positive if we multiply a positive number with negative number it will be minus negative number with plus if we multiply these two then we will get a negative sign and if we multiply to negative number then we will get a plus number that means positive number so in this way we can easily solve it. number two number two says a minus b minus c look a minus into b that is minus b minus into minus that is plus c simple now number three number three says 2a minus a minus b then 2a minus a minus into minus that is plus that means if we multiply this minus and minus it will be a plus so plus b number four number four says 2x plus y plus x minus y so 2x plus y plus x minus y because if we multiply anything by plus then sign will not be changed. So 2x plus x plus y minus y. We can cut y and y. So 2x plus x, that will be 3, 6. Now, number 5. Number 5, 6. 2x plus y minus x minus y. So 2x plus y minus into x minus x minus into minus plus y. So 2x minus x plus y plus y. 2x minus x, that will be x. y plus y, that will be 2y. So answer will be x plus 2y. Now, number 6. Number 6 is twice x minus y minus x plus y. So look at this. Twice x minus y minus into x minus x minus into plus y, that is minus y. Then we have to rearrange same expression and minus y minus y. 2x minus x that will be x and minus y minus y that will be minus 2y. Now number 7. Number 7 says x minus x minus y minus z. So how can you solve x minus into x minus x minus into minus y plus y minus into minus z that is plus z. So we can cut x and x. So our final answer will be y plus z. Number eight. Number eight says x minus x plus y minus z. So look at this x minus into x minus x minus into plus y minus y minus into minus z that will be plus z. So you can cut x and x. So our final answer will be minus y plus z or z minus y both answer are correct now number nine number nine says 2x plus y minus 2x plus y minus z then how can you solve look 2x plus y minus into 2x minus 2x minus into plus y minus y minus into minus z plus z now 2x minus 2x plus y minus y plus z. So after rearranging them, we have to simplify. Then we can cut 2x and 2x, y and y. Then our final answer will be z. Number 10 says twice x plus 3y minus z minus x plus y minus z. So 2x plus 3y minus z minus into x minus x minus into plus y minus y minus into minus z that is plus z then we have to rearrange them 
So 2x minus x plus 3y minus y minus z plus z. Then what will be the final answer? 2x minus x, that will be x. 3y minus y, that will be 2y. And minus z plus z. So we can cancel both of them. So answer will be x plus 2y. Now, number 11. Number 11 says, complete the following statements. So we have to add the brackets right now. So how can you solve it? Number 11, a minus b minus c. So here we have to add bracket. So a minus bracket, adding brackets means actually we have to divide. If we divide a positive number by another positive number, it will be a positive number. A positive number divided by negative number, answer will be a negative number. Negative number divided by a positive number, it will be a negative number. Negative number divided by negative number, that will be a positive number. So a minus, that means we, if we add the bracket, that means we are dividing minus b by minus 1. So it will be plus b. Minus by minus, so it will be plus c. And 12. 12 says a minus b plus c. So what will be this one? a minus. So minus b divided by minus, it will be plus b. Plus divided by minus, it will be minus c. So a minus bracket b minus c will be the answer. Now, number 13, 13 says a plus b minus c. So we have to add bracket after a plus, a plus. So after plus, if we add the bracket, then sign will not be changed. So it will be plus b minus c. Now, number 14, number 14 says 2x minus 3y minus z. How can you solve it? So 2x. After 2x, there is a negative sign. That means we have to add bracket after this minus sign. So minus 3y divided by minus, it will be plus 3y. And minus z divided by minus, that will be plus z. That is the final answer. Now, number 15. Number 15 says 2x minus 3y plus z. So after minus, we have to add bracket. That means minus 3y divided by minus, it will be plus 3y. Plus z divided by minus, it will be minus z. Very simple. Now, number 16. Number 16 says x minus y minus z. There is a already bracket there. But if you look at this, after x, there is a positive sign. So how can you solve it? At first, we have to remove the bracket. x minus y minus into minus z plus z. But after x, there is a positive sign. So we have to rearrange them. x plus z minus y. So x plus, if we add the bracket, the answer will be x plus z minus y. Number 17. Number 17 says a minus b minus c minus d. Look at this. a minus b. Look at the answer. After b, there is a positive sign. So after b, we have to bring a positive sign. How can we do this? So at first, we have to remove the brackets. a minus b minus into c minus c minus into minus plus d. So if we realize right now, look at this a minus b, then you will get plus d minus c. That means we are getting the plus sign after b. Then what will be the final answer? Very simple. a minus b plus d minus c. Simple. Now, number 18. Number 18 says x minus p minus q minus r. How can you solve it? Here, at answer, we have only first bracket. So look how can you solve it? x minus p minus into q minus q minus into minus r plus r. Then x minus into p minus p minus into minus q plus q minus into plus r minus r. Here we can say up to x minus p everything is okay. Look, after p there is your plus sign. So it will not be changed. So q minus r. Very simple. Now number 19. 19 says x minus third bracket p 
P minus Q minus R. So how can you solve X minus? Then we have to remove first bracket P minus Q minus into minus plus R. Okay, then X minus into P minus P minus into minus Q plus Q minus into plus R minus R. But if we look at the answer, we can see that after P, there should be a negative sign. So we have to rearrange these values. So we have to rearrange this expression X minus P minus R plus Q. Okay, because after P, it should be a negative sign. So what will be the final answer? Very simple. X minus P minus it should be R minus Q. That is the final answer of this number 19. And number 20, how can you solve 20? Very simple. 2x minus 3y minus 3z. So 2x, then minus 3. Then we have to add bracket. That means we have to divide. Minus 3y divided by minus 3, it will be plus y. Minus 3z divided by minus 3, it will be plus z. And that is the answer of number 20.